That's right, guys. I'm going to take you along a journey that I normally do to build my teams. As you can see, all my save squads have been deleted. I'm starting over from scratch. There's been a bunch of new heroes that have been released since my last teams. So I think it's time for a fresh new start. So I'll take you guys along the way, show you the process, how I create my teams. Now, the thing about Marvel Strike Force that's different from most other games that you might play is the team synergy is very, very crucial and it's very important. But the team compositions have kind of already been predetermined for us by the devs because it's a marvel brand so the teams that you see in movies are the teams that they want you to to put together in the game and use in the game now there's a really cool aspect about that that i enjoy i'm sure you guys enjoy it as well but there's also something about that that kind of hinders you and uh it kind of makes it so wait a minute i want to pair this guy with this guy and this girl whatever teams you want to build that you might want to see it doesn't really work out that way as you guys already know but there's also a great art to building these teams using them in blitz using them in uh, all aspects of the game it's a lot of fun the more you use them the more you master the teams and then it becomes a lot easier so then you know which heroes you can take out which heroes you can put in for what situations all right so this one we're going to be building all my blitz teams here really quickly we're going to go through all 15 and then you're going to get a bonus two or three teams that i normally switch around as well so it's going to be a great tutorial for everybody whether you're a beginner Beginner, a pro um end game right now so i've destroyed every aspect of the game and i know what i'm talking about guys so sit down grab a drink and pay attention ah okay now let's begin with the first team now the easiest way to start building your teams is put the teams that we already know are 100 win rate and have great synergy together all right so Right off the bat here you can already see i've got two of my defenders that are already at the top they're over 75k so let's build everybody's beginner team the defenders here so when building your defenders it's very simple guys there's only two heroes that you should really really care where they go and then the other three you can kind of move around as you please so personally i like to put my punisher in the middle there i don't want him too close to my tank i don't want him getting chained from each side punisher is the one hero that's actually going to cause the most damage on the defenders so you want to protect them as long as possible now on one side you can put iron fist or you could put jessica jones let's go with iron fist right now on the other side uh it's very crucial you must put in your daredevil now i'll explain why you want daredevil on that side in just a minute here let's put jessica jones in there and the final member of the defenders here you can kind of go two different ways here guys depending on what you're using it for miss marvel works great with the defenders you can always use her but typically and uh almost every time you want to put in Luke cage there he gives everybody so many bonuses and so many buffs there it's not even funny now this is a typical defenders lineup you want your tank Luke cage on one side and you definitely want daredevil next to Luke cage he's going to taunt which will attract all attacks on him including chain attacks so anytime he gets attacked with a chain attack they're also going to hit daredevil which is going to cause punisher to hit them back if you know how their abilities work because punisher will always take revenge on whoever hits daredevil all right it's very simple and very common this is a great defenders lineup here try this lineup here if your defenders don't look like this make sure you guys move them around a little bit and try this lineup out and let me know how it works out for you now let's go ahead and let's save our first team here all right so we got our first team guys now let's go ahead and build the second team now the team that we're about to build next guys is the number one team in uh, alliance war offense this team is incredible and uh, it's my favorite team in the game obviously i've gotten really 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 lucky with red stars on these guys especially if you can already tell i got a seven red star Yay! falcon here but i don't have them at seven stars yet which kind of sucks but let's go ahead and let's build this team here now with this team the most important hero on this team is rescue <laughs> That's right, guys. She is the most important hero in the power armor for the simple fact that she gives them a barrier, which makes them survive a little bit longer. And then her ultimate will cleanse them as well as give all power armor offense up. Now, if you don't know what power armor already does, they are just incredible after they have offense up. Now, we're going to put the next member here, a uh, war machine. The next member is going to be our Falcon, my favorite hero in the game right now. The next power armor member is iron man boom now we want iron man in there these four characters right here are what builds what the power armor is all about the next and final member is going to be vision vision works so really really great with power armor guys for two things first of all they all start off with defense up for two turns because of his passive and the second of all his aoe attack clears all enemy buffs which then in turn makes all their attacks 
shred through them like butter so let's take power arm into battle and i'll show you guys how power armor actually works so we're going to face our first random foes here and it's very simple very common this team shreds through literally everything but you got to be a little bit careful you got to really know how to use them i have lost with power armor before but i was punching up quite a bit over 100k other than that i really really never really use never really lose with them you will lose with power armor if somehow your opponent go after rescue first if you're facing guardians and they really really focus on her down you get a rocket uh single target damage and then you get a star lord single target damage you're done for start off the bat here with her special put all defenses up give them barrier all that good stuff here next up you want your vision you can go with ability block on anybody really uh you kind of want to ability block hand archer here even though you're going to be going into shadow mode there with uh, hand sentry you want to ability block hand archer for the simple fact that this guy's when he hits you with his aoe it's going to clear all buffs from all of your uh allies here we don't want that now next ability here we go into falcon his special is awesome he's going to give a bunch of turn meter to all our uh allies here now here's where it gets a little bit tricky and that's why this team is a little bit hard to put an auto with iron man here you have his special ready to go but you don't want to go into special because you're going to save all aoe's eventually what you want to do is have a offense off from rescue and then four aoe's ready to go from all your other heroes so we're going to go with his basic here and then here's a war machine's special ability here we're going to use that somewhere in the middle here you know what let's just go right there this is going to do a good amount of damage here because iron man is in the play Woo! vision is almost dead now this is a pretty goddamn good hand archer team at high level all right here we are this is the point where you want to get to in the battle offense up on boom not everybody except for vision because he's not power armor and then we spam all of their aoe's guys well let's take a look at this ability first from falcon he's gonna hit everybody plus for each positive effect he's gonna bonus attack the enemy for 80 percent damage jesus christ watch this boom uh, they're all basically almost dead. Now we get a... This is why Vision is incredible here. We get a boom AoE from Vision. Clears all the buffs. And then we come to Iron Man. Another AoE here. Essentially, they will all slowly just get murked with War Machine's God Mode AoE. And it's as basic as that, guys. That's how Power Armor works. It's an incredible team. Make sure you guys work on your Power Armor. Oh, and by the way, guys. If you don't have a Vision on your roster yet, another hero that actually kind of works really well here is... Hulk, believe it or not, Hulk will taunt, which will take away some pressure from rescue, and then he gets a bonus from being with Iron Man because of the Avengers 1 tag, so Hulk is a decent replacement, not great, but it could work. Alright, so two teams in the back, let's go ahead and check out what we're going to do for number three. The third team that I can already see right off the bat, guys, is, is Kree Minions with Ronin, an incredible team, works really, really well. And uh, the reason why I say that is because my Kree Reaper is 7 red stars. So I'm going to show you guys the proper way to build your Kree team together here. Now depending on who is your highest DPS Kree minion, that's who you want next to Kree Noble. Alright, so I got my Kree Cyborg in the middle there. I got Ronin there. Those guys are interchangeable. You can put them wherever you really like in those two spots there. Or if you don't have a good Cyborg, you can put in Oracle. Oracle also works pretty good as well. Now, on this spot over here, this is where I'm going to put my highest DPS hero uh kree reaper now if your kree reaper is not that strong and let's say your cyborg is a lot stronger you can switch that put your cyborg in that spot there and vice versa or, or whoever is your toughest another hero you can put there as well is ronin if he's really really powerful the reason why i say that is because we're going to put kree royal guard on one end and then we're going to put kree noble on the other end and boom here they are this is a proper way to do a kree minions and ronin team here guys you want your noble next to your highest dps hero because she will apply an assist which is incredible if you put ronin where i got my kree reaper there not only is he going to get an offense up assist so he's going to attack but ronin dispels on his basics so you're also going to be able to dispel which actually can come in handy in a bunch of different situations if you're facing uh, a drax where you want to take off his taunt right away that can actually work so you can kind of switch those up situationally but typically you want your highest dps hero right in this spot and obviously kree royal guard on uh on the opposite end to taunt and attract all his attacks towards him and give everybody defense up right so this team right here is also really really cool personally for me guys this wins nine out of ten times it's incredible and i really don't want to change it for anything else now as i say that you could also change some things here uh minerva works tremendously with this team you can put minerva where uh where kree cyborg is and it'll do really really well you can put in a um captain marvel on this team as well because of all the energy captain marvel works tremendously on this team as well if those are your options but i don't recommend it keep this team as it is like this 
and then let's go on to the next team all right guys so as we are here we might as well just build a brotherhood team i don't have to explain brotherhood too much to you guys it's pretty straightforward the only tips that i'm going to give you for the brotherhood teams are you want to have your jugs on obviously either end and you want to put your mystique next to the juggernaut here because she's, she's going to go into stealth and it's going to break a lot of chain attacks coming right at juggernaut so this is typically the only thing they have to worry about these other three heroes you can kind of you know it really doesn't matter you can move them all around however you like but brotherhood is incredible literally 100 percent win rate on blitz so definitely work on your brotherhood guys they're not meta in the arena anymore but they're still a meta battle team and blitz all right so this team is incredible so work on your brotherhood obviously all right so let's move on to another team that doesn't need much explaining guys and that is the x-men x-men are the meta team right now if you didn't already know you want to have a really really powerful x-men team with phoenix to destroy everybody literally arena is filled with phoenix all over the place running um psylocke in the arena is also really really tremendously well uh colossus you see him in the arena as well throw a sprinkle a little ultron in there um a little vision a little minerva a little captain marvel and all of a sudden you've got the best team in the game but this is not about arena right now guys we're talking blitz so let's build the rest of the x-men here and i'll give you guys some tips on how to use them all right guys so this is what your x-men teams should pretty much look like you want colossus on one end the tank and take all the damage and then you want phoenix on the opposite end because she will also get taunt from colossus as well in the middle here you can interchange them all as well now here's a little pro tip for you guys right now if you are working on your x-men i would suggest the one x-men character that you kind of slow down on don't put all of your resources into would be wolverine he is the weakest of the bunch and he will probably most likely be replaced when cyclops come around but you can always throw them on your brawlers team to be usable as well. So there is some usability there. But what I'm saying is don't go crazy on your Wolverine unless you got him five, six, seven red stars. Other than that, work on everybody else. Psylocke is incredible. Storm is ridiculous in raids. Colossus is a beast in the arena as a tank. And then I don't even have to tell you guys about Phoenix. Like I said, right now, she is the meta. And I think this team is going to be incredible for a long time to come, especially in Blitz. So for Blitz terms this is a hundred percent win rate team defenders i always seek brotherhood when i'm fate when i'm using them so let's go ahead let's save it x-men and there's really not much else i gotta tell you guys about them all right so let's check in on our save team so far guys we've got the brotherhood we've got the defenders we've got the power armor we've got the brotherhood x-men and the kree we still got a long way to go here to build the rest of the teams here so let's go all right now we're back at the top here and we've got my captain marvel that i haven't put her on our team yet so let's go ahead and let's create a captain marvel here because this is probably my favorite part uh captain marvel is literally top three of my favorite heroes in the game and uh, other than Ultron, she is arguably the best hero in the game, guys. I'm not even lying. I got her at 5 red stars, which is not incredible, which is not that great. And I'm telling you right now, this chick is amazing. Uh, if you could, T4 her abilities. T4 all of them. <laughs> That's how good she is, right? So, not only is she great because she just hits so hard, but she is great because she's so flexible, guys. And I'm not talking about in the bed because in the bed, she's definitely flexible. I'm talking about team-wise, you can put her on literally every single team and she will be fine. She will do great. She will take an average team and she will make them way above average and make them almost 100% win rate. And that's the approach I took, guys. A lot of people are using uh, Captain Marvel in Brawlers, Hero Brawlers, which, like I said before, she's incredible there. She makes Hero Brawlers 100% win rate if you have her on a Hero Brawlers team, but... If you have enough heroes to make hero brawlers with other heroes, do that. Save her for this team that I'm going to tell you right now because she takes them and makes them 100% win rate. All right, so let's begin this team build with none other than Captain Marvel, obviously. The next installment on this team is Black Widow. Do you have any idea where I'm headed with this team, guys? Do you know yet? It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. The next hero on this team could be interchangeable. You could put a lot of different heroes in this position. But I'm going to roll with my Quake because she's 58 
thousand power right now so it's pretty damn good it's gonna put my team power a lot higher uh but if i had if i had a hawkeye that's anywhere near that as well i would definitely roll with hawkeye instead of quake to be honest with you you don't really need much aoe she's pretty slow she applies slow on your opponents as well which is good and then with the speed ups from black widow it kind of really wor works pretty good together so i'm gonna run that and then uh, i'm also gonna call this my big jugs team god look at these three girls right here guys <sighs> what do you choose anyways get back on topic the next member of this team is going to be none other than the leader the captain captain america now you want your captain america next to black widow on the end obviously she's gonna go first turn stealth He's going to taunt in the next turn. They cannot chain after that. It's going to be really hard for them to get the Captain Marvel from this side. Now, the final member of this team here is Valley Flying. Psych, it's not Valley Flying. It's the Hulk, guys, obviously. Hulk goes great on this team. Uh, he's going to taunt on opposite sides of Captain America. Now, don't do this mistake. Use a taunt from Captain America. You're also going to be able to use a taunt from Hulk on the same turn. Don't do that, guys, all right? You kind of want to... Keep that for the next turn. Uh, you got a lot of different aspects of this team here. You got three heroes that are going to be able to clear buffs. You got a massive single target damage here plus some AoE. You got a big stun from Black Widow. You got a big splash damage ultimate from Hulk. So there's a lot of things going on here. I promise you, if all these heroes are built up quite enough, this team is a 100% win rate if you use them right way. But if you cannot win with them, just keep practicing, guys. You'll get the hang of it. This team is incredible. I love using Avengers. Now, you take Captain Marvel out of this team. Trust me, this team goes down to maybe 50 or even lower win rate. And if you put in Hawkeye in there or somebody else, it's not even, it's not even close. So I took these heroes because I already had them upgraded quite a bit since the beginning of the game. And then you put Captain Marvel in there and you're set, guys. It's really, really an awesome team to use. So uh, try it out if you don't have them yet. All right, on to the next team, guys. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting through all the teams that are no-brainer teams. These teams are really easy to put together because they've kind of already been together, been put together for us by the game. So next up, uh, we're going to move on to the Wakandans, guys. Uh, that's right. It's a very simple and basic. Wakandans are actually a pretty sure to win team in Blitz. They win almost 100% of the time uh build them up strong enough and they will take care of themselves a lot of defense up a lot of healing god and then you got a plenty of damage from killmonger and black panther plus a koye so this team is pretty balanced out when it comes to blitz and there's not really much else to say about this team all right so let's go ahead let's save this team up and move on to the next one okay guys so the second kind of no-brainer team is sinister six uh, one of the newest teams in the games sinister six are actually pretty amazing guys i was surprised at how good they really are they can win a lot of battles even if it's not just against defenders and city folks they can win battles against a bunch of different teams with their speed reduction from vulture and then the offense up from shocker it's amazing what they can do i've actually been enjoying using them quite a bit here guys and then just put Rhino on the side here. So you can taunt with him and get some damage away from everybody else. But overall, guys, Sinister 6 is not too difficult to place. It's just going to cost you a good amount of T4s to work on all of their abilities here. Because uh, they all have some pretty good abilities that you want to T4. Other than that, they do pretty well. I love using them in Blitz. And I'm going to keep working on them a lot more here as we go on. So let's go ahead. Let's save them here and move on to the next team. All right. So the next team that you kind of got to be a little bit careful about placement of the heroes and this team a lot of people like to go on early game access to as well is the guardians with star lord so let me show you guys how you want to place your guardians here it's pretty simple all right guys so this is the ideal guardians team guys it's a lot better to have mantis in there instead of gamora i feel like your win rate will go up a lot higher if you put mantis in there plus gamora's got some more usability as well with brawlers if you want to go that route now the placement of guardians is kind of important you want your star lord next to rocket because you want his special to feed energy only to rocket so you can get the aoe now the other side here drex on the side obviously take a bunch of the damage from his initial taunt and then uh, groot you can kind of interchange groot here but you want him away from rocket you don't want to draw too much attention to him he's going to get taunted as well so ideally this is the best place to place your guardians it's very simple they are a great team to use guys a lot of fun they will win almost every match for you in blitz and then once you start taking them apart 
a rocket star lord group become essential for you when it comes to raiding and all that good stuff as well so this is so these characters are incredible and i love using guardians another route you can go is take away mantis and drex and uh, put in minerva with thanos so that actually works really well here as a as kind of a hybrid guardian team that actually wins a lot of the time too but i like to use those heroes elsewhere so we're gonna roll with this traditional guardians team all right so let's check back in guys into our save teams here and we're gonna move some things around here because what you want to do is you want to put your teams in a saved order of team power all right team power is crucial and you want to have your highest team powers at the top your lowest team power at the bottom because it's really going to determine what opponent you're able to get in blitz uh, by your team power here. So let's go ahead and move these guys a little bit higher. Move them higher. Move them higher. And right now we're looking good, guys. So let's keep going. All right, guys. So the next team we're going to talk about is Nick Fury and the Shield Agents. Now, this team is actually pretty cut and dry. It's very basic. But there is some things that you can do here to change up some stuff. Uh, Nick Fury, we're gonna run down the middle here now depending on which characters you have leveled up the most Because this is where minions come into play when it's one featured character such as Nick Fury You have to take one minion out of that team and depending on how your team is looking which minions you were able to rack up the most the one uh, minion that you could take out the out from this team typically would be shield trooper he all of his abilities do not really rely on being part of Nick Fury and the shield team so you can put him anywhere and it's gonna work the best thing about him is he will counter-attack anyone who hits uh, an ally that is adjacent to him so if somebody hits Nick Fury or the tank in this position here he's going to counter them which is great he does a lot of damage I got lucky with my shield trooper because I got him at six red stars so I love using him on this team he really brings out my power team power so I really don't put him anywhere else I just keep him on this team and it works out really really well here so let's go ahead and fill out the rest of this roster okay so there's my full fury shield minions team here the one that I leave out is shield operative because I haven't really worked on her that well and she's only 21,000 power so it's a lot less than everybody else so I roll with these other guys here but she's actually another great asset to this team so if you have a pretty good shield operative you can always put her in there take out shield trooper and then you can use shield trooper on any other team where you can do a ton of damage as well now the only placement that you have to worry about this team guys is like I said trooper has to be next to uh, shield security it works out the best out of everything else so that's the only thing you have to worry about and then the rest of these guys you can interchange however you like but this team is 100% win rate uh, defenders pretty much anybody you, you always got to be careful about your opponents but most of the time these guys will win for you so I really don't have to tell you much more about this team here all right so if you got them keep working on them guys because pretty soon Colston will come in and then make this team a lot better as well so don't forget that now let's move on all right guys so now this is where things start getting really interesting we got most of those preset teams out of the way the game kind of tells you these teams should go together keep them together which is all cool and dandy but now when you have to use the rest of your characters to build the unique teams that you can that can guarantee you wins it gets a lot more tricky here and uh, the first thing that we're going to talk about is the hero brawlers i've been talking about the hero brawlers quite a bit up to now so let's go ahead and let's build our hero brawlers team here and uh your main hero for the hero brawlers team is obviously miss marvel she puts everything together guys her passive is incredible she will assist on every single hero brawlers turn or one of her allies is going to gain an assist up so pretty much every turn she's going to help them attack so pretty much every turn you're going to get two attacks instead of one which is great now the reason why hero brawlers is so interesting is because you can put so many different characters into this team, but it will kind of cause you to break up some other teams. Now, let's talk about first essentials. Some heroes that are really, really essential to put on this team. Now, the number one hero that I'm going to say is very essential to this team is America Chavez. Not only do her abilities go crazy good on the hero brawlers, but they only go good on the hero brawlers. <laughs> she really doesn't fit anywhere else, right? So if you don't, if you don't plan on running a hero brawlers team, then you don't you should not be really working on america chavez guys or miss marvel to be honest with you those are some characters that you can leave behind and work at some other teams she's specifically for a hero brawlers team now the next hero that i'm gonna put on mine is gonna be gamora the reason why i'm putting gamora there is because my gamora is pretty high when it comes to power and she doesn't have a home right now because you already saw my guardians had completely different characters in there so i don't really need her there other than Hero Brawler, she really is homeless. You really cannot put her anywhere else. Uh, so we're going to put her here. 
and then we're gonna see how that takes us the next hero that i'm gonna put in my hero brawlers is deadpool i love deadpool in hero brawlers teams he's incredible he doesn't have a home in many other places in the game uh obviously he's a great tandem with cable if you got a really really strong cable if you don't which i don't I like to run Deadpool on this team here. It goes really great. So the next hero that we're going to place here is Spider-Man. This is where it gets interesting, guys, because placing Spider-Man here completely breaks apart the tandem of Spider-Man and Miles. It breaks apart the Spider-Verse, which is kind of why it's causing a lot of people to kind of break up their teams. But the final member is going to be Miss Marvel, obviously, and then check all the bonuses they all get. Now, this is a typical hero brawlers team that you'll see. Another couple other changes that you can make here guys is take Gamora out and put in Miles it really helps out a lot because you already broke up your Spider-Verse team so putting Miles there really doesn't really change anything for the Spider-Verse team as it is but I like to put Gamora there she's got more total power and uh, she dishes out a ton more damage you if you need to disrupt and if you need the turn meter reduction from Miles I guess that can help and then having him and Spider-Man also they get that spider-verse bonus really but it's not that big of a deal so the last great thing that i like about this team and the, why i like spider-man here as well guys is because spider-man will apply defense down to three to four characters on your opponent and then right after he goes usually deadpool is going to go right after him and then he's going to do his special where he can hit two three characters four characters with defense down and does a ton of damage guys plus then you're gonna get the assists from miss marvel so it all really really works out great together this team is not gonna let you down keep trying them out keep practicing with them eventually you get the hang of it and then you can switch some things around but work on hero brawlers now hero brawlers is an end game kind of team guys trust me you don't want to be one of the newer players in the game and then you're working on your hero brawlers it's not ideal these guys are not great in the arena they're not gonna be great in raids uh, obviously they're gonna be all right in war they're really good in blitz but this is a team that you kind of work on slowly along the way and when you get to the end game you got a lot more time a lot more resources then you start working on these guys together but right now guys uh, stay away from uh, hero brawlers if you're new all right guys so now at this point I'm guessing your roster is looking so different than mine everybody's got different characters leveled up and uh, red start and all that good stuff so here's where it gets interesting now i'm going to build my mystic controllers team mystic controllers is a great team to have it works out really really well i have gone ahead and i've t 4 a bunch of these abilities on mystic controllers because it really makes them that much more powerful uh for instance my mortal special has t4s on it because i want to get that stun every single turn but it's not necessary you also get blinds so it works out either way now Mystic Controllers would not be anywhere without Loki, guys. Loki is the key what makes Mystic Controllers go. He's going to give all Mystic Controllers a 10% speed bonus, which is incredible. It makes him go right away, right from the start. He applies defense down. It's great. And then he's going to make the rest of the Mystic Controllers go a lot faster as well. So he's definitely crucial for this team. So now at this point, we got the defense down. Uh, we've got some blinds from Mordo. The next character of the Mystic Controllers typically would be a scarlet witch where's my scarlet witch boom scarlet witch here because she's a missing controller and they all work really well together she will extend all of the debuffs applied by mordo it really works out tremendously the only problem so far now is we do not have enough damage right so when you see these three guys you're like shit where's the damage gonna come from now if vision was not on my power armor team this would be a great spot for vision it works really well because he the same as scarlet witch have a great synergy together but he applies a ability block he can clear buffs and he just works really really well on this team as well but right now we got him on power armor so we're not going to use him here a couple of different options that you could run here is you're going to need a good tank here and this is where thanos comes into play thanos doesn't have that many other spots to go into so you can run thanos here he's cosmic he's mystic so if you do get a kill on your opponent He's going to give ability energy to either himself or the next cosmic uh, hero next to him. So ideally, if your Loki is a lot stronger than your Mordo or vice versa, whoever you want Thanos to feed energy to, that's who you want in there. So for me, actually, I want it the other way around. This is ideally how I want it to go because my Mordo, like I said, I put T4s in his special. So I want him to get his special as, as often as he can, to stun as often as he can, plus get that AoE heal block now the final character on this team guys is very tricky 
you can go a lot of different ways here, right? You could put Doctor Strange in here, right? To clear all buffs and then extend them with Scarlet Witch, which really could help out, but you're lacking in damage. And that's the only problem on that team. Another pro tip that I'm going to give you guys here is anytime you run Loki, a great duo with Loki is Mystique. That's right, guys. Mystique is very fast. She's quick. Once you start the battle, Loki is going to put defense down on your opponent. They're going to get attacked the first time. So pretty much right after that, Mordo is going to go and then Mystique is going to go. Mystique with her special is going to also target the same target as Loki. Those two characters right there, when they get a turn, they team up on one hero, it's automatically dead. So you're pretty much going to begin the battle five on four if you put Mystique there. You don't need Mystique on your Brotherhood. They're already really, really good without her. So this is one option you can put in there that I personally think it works out well. Try it out, guys. Let me know if you tried it out in the comments and uh, if you had any success with that or not. Either way, i love to hear from you guys. Another option that you can run here, guys, is uh, Merc Lieutenant. He doesn't really have a home. You put him there, give offense up to the rest of these guys, and then uh, they will slowly win the battle by just applying enough debuffs to everybody. Stunning, heal blocking... Uh, causing a little bit of damage here, and then uh, that's really a painful way to win a battle. I, uh, it's fun, but it's not 100% win rate. It's pretty high, though. These guys will definitely win 8 to 9 out of 10 times. That's another option you can go. Kingpin would kind of be the same way. Another different option that you can run, guys, is a Deadpool here as well. I know it's different, but it really works out. Take Deadpool out of Brawlers. Put in Miles in the Brawlers team, because you already broke up your Spider-Verse, and then you you can put Deadpool here for a little bit more damage. But for the sake of the video, guys, we're going to go ahead with Merc Lieutenant here. Let's go ahead and save this up. Uh, now, this team works really, really great on low 200 power. Once you get all close to 300k power, this team kind of struggles, guys. It really, really struggles because your opponents are so overpowered in Blitz. You're kind of punching up 100k power up. And uh, they just do not deal enough damage to, to, to sustain that. Like I said, but... Lower 200,000, they do really great. Let's go ahead and save that and move on to the next one. All right, so let's check back on our save teams here. Uh, scrolling down to the last couple of save ones we've got. Boom. Let's move these guys up. Let's move these guys up. Move these guys down. Okay. Sixty-nine. They're set there. They're set there. They're set there. Okay, we're good, guys. All right, now we are on twelve sure to win teams. Let's keep going. Okay, now the next team that we're gonna build is gonna be determined by the roster, guys. Like I said, it's all on your roster. But I'm thinking. Let's see. We've got those guys on teams. Crossbones. Boom. That's the team that we don't have yet. A great, another great duo, guys. Is uh, Kingpin, Crossbones, Merc Lieutenant, Crossbones. Anybody that can apply offense up. To crossbones is great he's got a massive aoe that's uh phenomenal so if you can apply offense up to that <clears throat> you're set all right so we got our foundation there we got our core group now it's all depending on what you got what you're gonna put around them typically with a kingpin crossbones team you want aoe as much aoe as you got on your team that you can afford to put on this team put it on there guys so let's go ahead let's take a look here at some heroes that we can afford to put on here uh quake could work here if you have her she's got an aoe it, the problem with quake is it's not ready at the same time that your other heroes are ready to go for example on the second turn where crossbones has his big aoe she will not be ready so it really doesn't help out that much um one hero that goes great with this team here is Yandu. I heard Yandu with them is incredible. He's a villain, so he's got a small chance to assist from uh, Kingpin there. And he's got a really nice AoE that is the same turn as Crossbones, right? So we got three there. Now, who are the final two? Now, Korath is an option that you can put in here, guys. He's a mercenary, plus he's a villain. He will help out. The only problem with Korath is he's only single target damage, which does not really help out with this team. You kind of want to have a little bit more of AoE. Believe it or not, something like a Spider-Man works great on this team, guys. Uh, he's going to apply defense down to your opponent. So if they got defense down and they get a massive AoE from these guys, it's pretty much game over. So if you can afford to put Spider-Man on this team, it really will help out as well. But I've got my Spider-Man on my Brawlers, so I'm going to keep him there. For now or i could substitute in miles and put miles on my brawlers and put spider-man in here 
that's a possibility. But I've got something different in mind, guys. Another hero that would work great here is Minerva. Minerva's got an AoE ability that works great. She can revive somebody. So she's a great option to put in this team as well, guys. Let's see what our other option is going to be to put on this team here. Uh, all, all these characters have homes. Hand Sentry. Bam! We can put a Hand Sentry here. He's going to cloak everybody in stealth. And then if he dies, we can revive him. He doesn't deal a lot of damage but he can just make these guys survive a little bit longer which works out great so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this team here this is a great sure to win team so you guys can go ahead and use something like this all right guys moving on to the next team here let's go ahead as always go we're gonna go down our roster here and see what's available and what we're gonna be able to create hand century's got a team now these guys are all set these guys are all set uh dr strength does not have a team now ultron is insanely unique guys Ultron is by himself he's a team on his own and uh, <clears throat> this is why I'm able to create about 18 sure to win teams because Ultron will literally create three to four extra teams on your roster just by himself so he is the last character that we're gonna build on our teams the next ones that we want to use up now are is gonna be Doctor Strange uh, we still have Miles that doesn't have a home let's take a look all right, perfect. We're going to jump into Fantastic Four. Uh, it's not really much thinking to do with Fantastic Four because they have their team already set. Once the rest of them come out, uh, let's go with Human Torch. We've got the thing here. And last but not least, Mr. Fantastico. We've got to work on him a little bit more. There's four of them. When Invisible Woman, Sue Storm comes out, she will make this team a great team guys a definitely 100% win rate team I already see it coming but now we've got to put in the last character here uh, at this point now you can kind of throw in anybody in there they're already doing really really well they don't really need Merc Lieutenant let's take a look here hmm. I could put Miles in there the only other option now is Miles or Doctor Strange and now we do kind of need Dr. Stranger because Namor's abilities are only for war offense. In Blitz, his, uh, his ultimate does not clear any uh, buffs from your opponents. So let's go ahead and let's put Dr. Stranger just for now. And uh, this will make up another team for us here. So let's go save. Let's check out the squads now. And this video is running insanely long, guys. If you're still here with me, God bless you, man. Le leave a note in the comment section saying... I'm still with you, Worst F. I can't believe it. After all this time, I'm still here. And you're a true fan, guys. I promise I will love your comment forever. Honestly. All right, so that's 14 teams already set there. And we're running out of characters now, guys. We're literally in the end game now. Um, so we only have one roster spot left to save. Uh, obviously... Ultron will go there and this is at this point now is where I kind of create my Ultron team I throw an Ultron and then I go for the next four highest collection power heroes in, the, in my roster and then boom that builds a team but typically because we broke the spider-verse team typically spider-verse is something that you can run boom and if your spider-verse is a lot stronger and you're still looking for heroes to kind of plug and play into your spider-verse teams here uh, you want to run in your spider-man and then the last character that you can run with them is kind of tricky But Scarlet Wh Scarlet Witch goes great with these guys. She's gonna spread the bleeds from Venom and So is uh, Carnage Carnage will spread Venom's bleeds and then Scarlet Witch will even extend those So she works out really really great But since we do have one final spot and no more I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put in my Ultron here as well and then I will put in the last character that is the highest. We don't really need Merc Lieutenant, even though Merc Lieutenant were great, really, really good with Ultron. Once I run my first, once I run my first rotation, then I just go ahead and whoever it needs a cooldown, I just substitute all these guys and then keep Ultron and then just keep running those teams. That's kind of how I do my blitzing, guys. It's very easy. The final. Oh, let's go with Korra. So let's go ahead. Let's save this team, guys. And thus, concluding the ultimate team building guide. Boy, that was rough. That actually took a long time, guys. 
and let's go ahead there it is every single team built here pretty soon we'll put invisible women there we can take dr strange and plug him into somewhere else and pray to the gods that fox next create some more safe squads so uh, we can work with a couple of different teams here but there it is guys these are all the teams here a lot of these teams are obviously very generic <laughs> literally very generic because the game is kind of played like that it's all about team synergy but this is what i'm working with i hope this video helped you guys out and building some different lineups if you got something different in mind let me know in the comments i'd love to try out some of your teams that you guys build and always on stream i'm always taking uh, ideas from you guys suggestions and we always try out different different teams on stream as well and have some fun with them theme teams anyways guys i appreciate you so much for sticking around up to now and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video all right till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night <laughs>